So what's new in Edgy Grid version 27? In version 26, we introduced the new 100% React rendering engine in addition to our 100% Angular rendering engine, our Vue rendering engine, and our JavaScript rendering engine. The rendering engine in version 26 was enabled with a configuration attribute. Now that we've had the rendering engine in production for a few months, in version 27 for React projects, the 100% React rendering engine is the default. This means that anyone working with React will experience the speed improvements and ease of development by default. So this is a massive improvement for React developers. We've also added a best practice guide for using our React rendering engine to avoid any unwanted rendering cycles. So it's worth reading through that. Again, this is a huge change and a huge benefit for anyone using React and AG Grid. Because we support Angular and JavaScript with separate rendering engines, this only helps our React development. But all of our other changes in version 27 are for all of our frameworks. Angular, Vue, vanilla JavaScript, and React. We are one of the few data grids that actively support as many frameworks as we can with rendering engines native to that framework with the same core code and same core API so that no matter which framework you're using, you get access to all the features of our data grid. We've also made it much easier to use custom components. Everything is now a cell renderer. So if you're using React, you just add your custom component as a cell renderer. If you're using JavaScript, you just add your custom component as a cell renderer. The same with Angular and the same with Vue. The same API for each framework. And the grid will work out if it is a JavaScript component or a framework specific component and render it correctly. We've also spent time making sure that our data grid is fully typed. And we reflect that in the documentation examples. So for all our JavaScript examples, you can toggle between a version in TypeScript or a version in JavaScript. And all our examples are like this. In fact, all our examples for all frameworks have framework specific options. So for React, you can see a version using hooks or classes if you want to continue using classes. For Angular, we show the difference between using modules and packages. And for Vue, we're showing Vue 2 or Vue 3. We try to make it easy for anyone using any of our supported frameworks to see the example code that they need in every single example. So we have a blog post covering what's new in version 27 and it's worth reading through that because I'm just going to summarize that we have improved the column API. So for the column filtering API, we're making it easier to add new features. We're adding accessibility improvements onto the grid. We've made additional changes to the column API to make it easier to use and export to Excel. For the enterprise edition, we've made it possible to add crosshairs in the spark lines. Ooh. And we've added a section in the Sparklines documentation to describe how to use the bar Sparklines as progress bars. So you could even do this if you want to. Because this is a major version, we are dropping support for certain environments. Now, most of these are legacy environments or about to become legacy environments. Version 27 doesn't support Polymer, but then neither really does Google. Polymer's in maintenance mode. Version 27 doesn't support Angular 7 or Angular JS, but Angular is now at version 13. And the Angular JS team have discontinued support for Angular JS. Version 27 doesn't support Internet Explorer, but Microsoft recommend that people use Edge and Internet Explorer support will finish on June 15. Now, and although we don't support this in AG Grid 27, we do support it in AG Grid 26. And AG Grid 26 is a long term support release. So you'll still be able to report issues against AG Grid version 26. And we'll release new minor versions of AG Grid 26 to address issues with those frameworks if they should arise. We're doing what we can to support people in enterprise environments that have slower infrastructure upgrade policies. 
And that's pretty much it. We have made a lot of changes in this release, so it's worth reading through the change logs or the blog post describing the release. And remember, AG Grid Community Edition is MIT licensed and completely free to use in commercial applications. AG Grid Enterprise is free to try. We don't have a cut down trial version. You'll see our nice friendly watermark and you don't have to ask us. You don't have to speak to a salesperson, although our sales team are very nice. And you don't have to give us your email. None of that. Try it out. And if the enterprise features are what you need, then buy a license when you start building your enterprise application or use the community edition completely free, even for commercial applications. We're trying to build the best grid we can to make it easier for programmers to focus on business value. So subscribe to the channel to keep up to date or for more tutorials. And remember to visit us at ag-grid.com.